Let's bring in our next guest, our South Valley, Valley realtor, Letty Pentagori. How's it going? How are you? Great. Nice How to are you see doing? you. Good to see uh, you too. Let, you're from the Keller Williams in the South Valley. How's things going in the South Valley real estate? Great. Well? Things are moving. Our uh, inventory is low, so mm -hmm. that means that you know if people are serious, they have to make a serious. What do you guys mean um, by inventory is low? Well, it just you have more buyers than houses. That's pretty much it. Really? Right. That's and, a good problem to have, huh? Oh, that's a very good... Well, it depends on what side you're on. Mm -hmm. That's a good problem for the sellers, but obviously the buyers have to be, you know, serious. You have to and be on it. it. That's right. How, how many days are these are the listings staying out for sale? Well, you know, it depends on the listings, but just like overall average, the, if you say the days in the market are 90 days or less, that's more of a seller's market. Mm -hmm. And then between like 90 days and... Six months is kind of approaching like a more neutral market, so we've definitely been way below the six months, more closer to the 90 days. You brought some listings with you today. I'm kind of excited <laughs> to see them because the rates are still real low, and if there's renters out there, if you're paying somebody else's mortgage and renting, you should probably take a look at buying because the rates, the rates now are almost exactly half of what the, the, what the rates that when I first bought my first house, and I was ecstatic to get that at the, at the time. Uh, we're still right around 4%, right? Well, a little bit more than that. I mean, they've been creeping up, but they're still really good. In election years, do they go up or down? <laughs> I still need to research that I question. I think they go down, don't they? Like the gas prices go down and all that kind of stuff because they're trying to make everybody happy? Right. Vote for me? Yeah. All right. okay. I do have one answer for you, though, that you were asking me last time. What's that? that? Um, like I have a buyer right now who um, they're paying around eight hundred dollars for a house, okay, with a pool, and renting. Um, yes, renting. renting. I'm sorry. Yes, eight hundred at the pool. That's not bad. Right. Right. Yeah, it's it's in Visalia. It's a smaller house. Okay. Well, they're buying a house in Hanford, and for one hundred sixty-five thousand dollars, the lot is huge. It's got a pool, um, and it has a lot of newer uh, uh, accommodations, like you know, air conditioning and stuff like that. Plus, they qualified for this FHA platinum loan through one of the... Um, What's a platinum loan? Well, it's kind of... You know what? I'd have to ask my lender to explain it that. It sounds because, great. Yeah, it, it's incredible. Yeah. I mean, they have to come up with $1,000. That's it. That's it. That's it. $1,000. Yes. And so, basically, their payments would be, including all the insurance and all of that, taxes and all that, would be around $1,100. Plus they get all the write-offs, plus they get the equity accruing. So they're getting this house. I mean, it's just, it's an incredible deal. It just makes me so happy, especially with first-time home buyers, to put them in a house like that. And now they won't have to pay rent, and it's just, it's just so, and this house is so cute. That's, that's part of the great thing about being a realtor, huh? See, making people happy, making their dreams come true. That's exactly it, because I'm also a licensed attorney, but I didn't get the opportunity to do that as a licensed You're attorney. You're a licensed attorney. You seem so nice. <laughs> That's what everybody, when they tell me, you're a lawyer, I always go, are you saying I'm not smart? They go, no, you're nice. I'm like, okay, well, I guess it's a compliment to me, but it kind of says something about my profession. So, but yeah, I, I love what I do. I love helping people. You brought some listings today? Yes, I okay. did. Okay, I, I, I'm, I'm excited to see them. What's the first one? Well, um, I did. Buena Vista, Yes. Said. And this one's in Visalia. Mm -hmm. It's $175,000. And it um, it was built in 1988. It's a three bedroom, two bath, um, and it's 1409 square feet. Okay. Okay. And so, and then the next one. Well, well, it, oh, sorry. 175 thousand. So we're looking at probably twelve, thirteen hundred dollar payment. That's right. Pretty good deal. It is yeah. incredible deal. Laurel Court. Okay, Billy so says. this one. I'm. Thank you for going in order. Perfect. Um, the next one is a two hundred thousand dollar house. Also in Visalia, and it was built in 1995. It's a three and one and three quarter baths. A, a three and one quarter? Three quarter. One and three, what's a three quarter bath? A three consider? quarter what, what do you get with that? would be everything except for a shower. You get a tub and a toilet and a sink. Right, exactly. I mean, people usually call that like two, they round it up. But I like a yeah. nice tub every once in a while. Yeah, yeah. so it's good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so, and that one's 1646 square feet. Pretty good size home. Yeah, it's okay. pretty good. Okay, next, <laughs> Howard. Billings. Okay, now this one is. Um, it was built in 1979, and this that was one. was a good year. Do you remember 1979? Yeah, I do. I don't. No. Uh, <laughs> you're older than that. What? Chuck. No, no, no. I just meant I, I don't. <laughs> okay. We, Van Halen album came out the year before. Huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> that's all that's, I remember. I remember that. Okay, that's right. 
<laughs> and this one's a three bedroom, two and a half bath. Okay, and it's uh, 1876 square feet, and this one's for 239,000. Wow. All good prices on all those homes. Yes. Yeah, are, are, are those considered first time buyer homes, or is that the step up? You know what? It, 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 it depends. I mean, most first time buyers, you know, they qualify for a little less, like probably okay. the 175 or the okay. 200. Let me ask, let me ask you this. Let's say in the 150 and less, how's the inventory? Now that can be a little... That goes fast, right? Yeah, and that could be... I mean, it depends on if they're okay with a planned unit development um, or something like that or, you know, a very small home or maybe like a fixer-upper type thing. And also to maybe not in Visalia, some of the other, like, towns. Goshen. Right, or or um, Exeter or something. You know what I mean? It, de it depends. What's a house in London going for? Uh, I'd know? have to check have on that one. you ever been there? It's Euros. Uh, yeah, I have. It's Euros? Euros. <laughs> I have a friend who's, this is a funny story, she's from England originally, and when she moved, she's from Southern California like I am, when she moved here, she goes, she was driving through, she goes, what is this new London? It doesn't even look like London. Why do they call it that? I'm like, I know, it's kind of funny, but that's just the way it is out here, right? <laughs> the way it is. Okay. Uh, Letty, if people in the South Valley that are watching, and I know there's a lot of you out there, and they want to get out of renting and get, get into their own home, what's the best way to get a hold of you? Probably my phone number, just because my name is, is you have to know how to spell it to be able to look it up. So it's 559-281-4568. I mean, you can look me up on the Keller Williams website, mm -hmm. or lrpingitori at kellerwilliams.com is my email, but you see, then you have to know how to spell my last name. So it's the easiest is 559-281-4568. Letty Pintagori from Keller Williams in the South Valley. Before you come back next time, will you find out if the rates go up or down in an election year? I need to know. I okay. will check up on that. If anybody knows that answer, I'll find it. All right. Hey, uh, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We're going to start the second hour of The Buzz with some live local music. Stick around, people. All right.